So guys, welcome back. Sorry about the mess. Uh, kids playing in the living room. But uh, I wanted to. I just got off work, and there was packages at my door. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. There's an unboxing of the Moza Racing wheel, and you know the accessories like the pedals. My e-brake is not here yet, and the accessories that I bought for the the rig itself. So I have the steering box, the steering wheel, which is this one here. Pretty cool. I'll give you a closer look here in a second. But I got the steering box, steering wheel, and the pedals, which are really badass. And uh, so I wanted to do like a little box opening to show you guys before I like go start setting stuff up. I don't have a rig yet because uh, my old rig was a G920 and we built the setup out of wood. So I don't have like a metal frame yet, but uh, I'm working on getting that. I just wanted to order all of the parts uh, first. So I ordered all this and then I got a Fanatec shifter as well to show you guys. So when it comes in, I've already opened everything. <laughs> so uh, it's not really an un unboxing, but uh, when it comes in the said box, man, that thing is just so badass. It's like magnetized. But uh, it comes in the box. The steering wheel is, you know, fits in or whatever. And it comes in this little uh, really cool bag. Everything comes in a bag. So, like, this was the steering wheel was in a bag. Had to unwrap it. And then, like, this is still wrapped. So, I could show you guys this really quick. <laughs> so, this is the steering box. This is how it comes in the little bag or whatever. And you pull it out. <laughs> It's really heavy, but anyway, that's what the steering wheel connects to. And then you got all the cables and stuff in there. And then the pedals. The steering wheel is like my favorite part of it. Um, it's, you know, carbon, I, th I believe that's carbon fiber. And then, you know, all the buttons. This was the expensive wheel. I'm not gonna lie, I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to get something good and that's what I ended up buying. It's really nice. And then I also got the the expensive pedals. I really like these. They're they're really nice. So yeah. And then there's the gas pedal. Super clean, super nice. They come with extra springs in this little box here. And it also see they also come in these little bags. So I got like three bags. When I get the handbrake, I'll have four, I guess. I did order the handbrake and the accessories for like the steering wheel stuff. But you get like a bag full of stuff and springs. And I think this is just hardware. Yeah, that's just hardware and then the cable down there. And then it come with a plate for, you know, mounting them. And that's all I've gotten so far. Do it with, uh, do it with Dan is a you know, small YouTuber like myself on uh, on YouTube. Uh, he was the one that convinced me to buy this. I have a G920 is what I started out with. I have a few videos on my channel making the, uh, or with that G920 setup. It's like set up like on a wood base or whatever. So he was the one that um, convinced me to buy Moza Racing after watching his video. I really wanted to get it like more serious into it so and my son uh, most of my most of my friends have sim racers so i'm giving my setup my whole setup to one of my friends to get him into sim racing because he wants to get into it so i'm giving him my whole setup just so he like can see if he likes it or not before he goes and spends a bunch of money to buy a racing setup so it would suck for him to go buy spend all this money get into it and not be into it as much as like we are. So thank you, do it Dan for convincing me to do this. Um, uh, if you wanted to, I could come to Atlanta and help you build my, uh, frame. I mean, we don't have to, it's just a joke, but, uh, I mean, it would be cool to come out there meet you and f build a frame for my SIM to, to like, you know, be a sim racer, whatever, I'm done. All right, so Moza or, M yeah, Moza or Maza, whatever you call it, racing doesn't have a shifter yet. 
Uh, I didn't see one on the site anyway. So I got a Fanatec shifter. This was recommended by one of my friends that has a Fanatec set up and it came with this and this and hardware of course to set everything up. But the cool thing, he told me to get this because the cool thing is, you know, you can obviously shift it, you know, first, second, third or whatever. But if you come down here and you change it, you can change it from eight speed to, uh, I can't remember the name of that. But anyway, it's, it locks it in place and then you're just pushing it forward and backward. And then you're shifting like rally cars. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, uh, if somebody knows, they'll put it in the comments. But yeah, cool shifter. I'm waiting on the USB port for that or the USB cable for that. I have one. Uh, I ordered one from Fanatec when I ordered that. So I'm just waiting on that. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I've gotten so far. It come in some cool boxes. It actually came in Amazon boxes. I just threw them over here. I ordered off the website and they sent, sent them to me in the Amazon boxes. So that was kind of weird. But anyway, cool boxes. They got handles on them, really durable. And then, uh, of course, the, the foam that they use to pack it in. But yeah, man, this thing is super nice. And I'm going to order a steering wheel to, I'm going to take this off. And I think you can put like an actual steering wheel on this. If not, it's okay because I really love this thing. But if I could put like another steering wheel on it, that would be awesome. And then there's this little thingy there. So, um, if you want to see content made from this, I've got an idea for like two cameras. One on the, like the feet and then one behind me looking where I'm racing. And then a face cam, of course. Uh, maybe just tell me how you guys think I should set it up and then we'll go from there.